Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode on all the mods gravitas and today we're gonna have a lot of progress you see over on last episode we ended here with the bees and now I have bees well tons and tons of bees and also have honey but I do not need the honey what I needed was beeswax beeswax allowed me to use to make treated lumber which allowed me to get these cogwheels and now with cogwheels and of course the mighty hand crank uh i was able to actually put creosote over here and so i was actually able to make some creosote or i should say treated planks now with the treated wood or planks you know we we can do a lot of things mainly start going ham with immersive engineering now of course we do not yet have access to water, like a regular bucket because that takes blue steel and red steel and we don't have it basically so i don't we need to grind a little bit for this but we c we can go for the windmill the windmill is pretty cheap as you can see like the normal windmill is pretty cheap and this guy only needs the kinetic dynamo to work which is also kind of cheap right just takes a little bit of copper which we gotta do we gotta cook a little bit of copper and then we can start getting power oh and how could i forget one of the things that allowed me to have so much wood was the nether i i didn't realize that i i could have already been to the nether sooner because i had a diamond pickaxe right um and apparently the, the there's always mobs spawning nearby and it's pretty laggy, like it, it breaks a lot for, for some reason. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out why. But you see these crimson stems? Boom. Pretty fast to break. And they come immediately like this. I don't need to put them through a saw or anything to get the planks. No, I can just come over here and, and farm the hell out of these boys. And boom. Just like so, I get... Plenty, 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 plenty. Oh, he has a little bit of you know, one of my logs. Uh, I don't think so, sir. Give me my log back. There we go. Just like that, you get tons and tons of wood. So I do really recommend coming to the nether if you need wood, because you get tons of it. But this wood does not allow you to do all the, the recipes, because some some of the recipes you need the, the other types of planks, like the lumber. This immediately gives you this one, so it's not super, super useful, but it's still useful. And why are these guys so important? Well, you can place them over here, just sit back, and you're gonna get all your treated wood very, very easily. Hey, cool trick. If you have yourself some leather, you can make yourself a bellows, and a bellows is a pretty handy tool, because we have this, right? I made an unfired mold table using some of our fire clay. And this is basically going to allow me to have a little bit more automation when trying to cast some things, uh, which, well, that's what I'm hoping. But as you can see, it's going to burn or cook at yellow white four times or four stars. I don't know what to call that thing. <laughs> uh, I put in one lignite which basically burns at yellow white too so it's not quite gonna reach the desired state but i have some bevels right here and if i right click it it's gonna push in some hair into this and as you can see yep it's on yellow yellow white two three four boom white it's even it even reached white and it's brilliant white now and this is cooked so yeah i guess you could say this is quite powerful because you can use this with charcoal normal coal and it will still reach like <laughs> very high very high temperatures so there we go i also made myself some casting channels i put in an ingot mold and i also left the space in case this thing can use a hopper so let me go grab let me just grab like one piece of coal and let's grab enough for let's say two ingots because if we have two ingots in there okay that's that's too much ah okay can we do this better well we can 
there we go two ingots so let's try with two ingots here and see what happens now well, that there we go i right click the channel and it's pumping it out but what's gonna happen now what's it gonna do like with the the, the copper it's gonna stay molten um i guess we could do like a couple more of these right yeah i guess we could do a couple more of these because this seems to take a while which kind of worries me and i don't know how much time it's gonna take oh it works so if i have a hopper here this actually works that's that's kind of good and i noticed something we put 200 this technically saves three milli buckets per copper or per 100 bucks so it only uses 97 i don't think that's a good thing though because if i wanted to make anything with these six i would have made something with these six you know so yeah i i, I think this is bad <laughs> yeah i don't think this should happen so i had to improvise a little bit but boom we got two copper wire and how many do we really need? So we, we need six total of no, we need six more. And and this takes four. Okay, my boys, we have a windmill. And there the guy goes. Now it's not producing any energy, I think. Or it doesn't actually have a way to store it. So we kind of need a way to store it. But we do have power. Somehow. Not pretty great. And we do still need to make some LV cables. Which I don't even know what they're called. It's just basically some copper. Wait, wait, wait. We're going to immersive engineering. Because the power on immersive engineering is not like regular cables. Uh, you got to go with the, with the wires. Like a proper electrical circuit yeah we need this we need wire connectors which is just terracotta and some copper and the wire relays which are the same so this is pretty cheap just some copper we do have some copper so no problem there now i just realized something this thing is gonna cost us way too much copper like it takes this to make two two just two wires just two out of these uh, because I need to do it like this because this recipe is broken. It doesn't show up in the anvil I'm not sure why maybe I need a higher tier anvil uh, Which is what I'm gonna work on next, but yeah for some reason That recipe does not show up this one It just doesn't uh, we can also work on doing this but for doing this uh, To add more power to our windmill. We need wool cloth. So we're gonna get some animals uh, but what we have to do right now is work towards blast furnace this one now this one takes a crucible we have one right here just waiting uh, but it takes wrought iron sheets and as we tried uh, over on the last episode we weren't actually able to do anything else with this uh, we weren't actually able to put in into wrought iron sheets but we can still put them together, weld them together into wrought iron. Uh, or double ingots, I should say. Which means we're going to upgrade to an iron anvil. And so, guys, I'm just finishing up here doing the sheets. And I guess I can show you guys the recipe that I'm using. So we weld them together. And now we have this sheet. And if you put this, you click the shrink one until here. Then you do a bend. And then one, two, three medium hits. Boom. You got yourself a sheet now we got all of this now we just need to pick this guy up and then we can put them together to make ourselves a blast furnace so we can even like do it like this and boom finally blast furnace so as you can see for the blast furnace we're gonna need fire bricks to put here and they also need some iron sheets around them to conceal the the blocks as you can see so yeah it needs fire bricks and it must then be lined with wrought iron sheets for extra reinforcement and then we can just well wait for it because this is going to take a little bit 
because these bricks require dun, da, 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 fire clay and well in order to solve our fire clay needs without me you will know, basically need to keep spinning the wheel i've made the setup down here it's basically the millstone that we had hooked up to our water wheel and well yeah this is better because this millstone actually has a chance to give us extra if you take a look here we have 20 percent chance to give two extra it's not that much it's gonna be a little bit this one has no extra chance so this is always better this one is the same so technically the millstone is kind of the best thing you can go for and then we have cavionite then i'm gonna do graphite then i'm gonna do this again and this again to try and get enough fire bricks for this because they take quite a little bit uh it's five each mortar we have well, 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 we have tons yeah we have we have way too much mortar now what's definitely the worst part about the blast furnace is that you need to use wrought iron sheets all around it and when i mean all around it you need 12 of these guys 12 which means you need a 20 the total of 24 iron ingots guys take a look at my hot bar you see this we have a lava bucket we, we have a lava i was out here exploring and i found this which is basically a jungle temple but it's uh well it's it's it's, <laughs> it's a nether temple now and i, I started to smash it because i noticed there's a bunch of redstone um uh, and i'm getting tons and tons of resources look at that block block of gold some pistons uh cut diamonds some iron we got some scrolls uh i already went to the end um we, we we have another we have we have two lava buckets oh my god i gotta get home and just like that we have access to cooking these ores you you don't know the how much work this just saved me because yep there we go there we go and then we can just pick it up so it doesn't like constantly burn there um we need to find a safer way <laughs> because if we reach here that will burn us so we don't want that but yeah we just got five iron i sacrificed four to put on to do the fan and we got five that's cool because we also have 12 raw copper we can cook this into 12 copper and we can do a whole bunch of other things because if we take a look at the recipes with lava we can cook everything like this we can cook charcoal like this we can cook gold as soon as well, well that gold is kind of needed to throw some 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 silk touch which we don't yet have but sure uh yeah but most of the resources we are now able to cook and this brings me into another thing that we can do you see uh, if we take a look, for example, maybe not Cinnabar. Cinnabar is not one of the best options. If we take a look, for example, the Malachite. If we put it through this, through the RF compactor, this guy will give us raw copper. And this is a flux compactor, which needs a bunch of iron. A bunch of iron. I just got myself a comparator, uh, but we need a bunch of iron. And this guy needs some RF. But it will compact things into vanilla stuff, which means we can cook it. And we don't have to go through the annoying process of casting. Guys, the blast furnace is now on the line. Well, kinda. Not, not, not yet. Uh, because it needs fuel, which is, is charcoal. Uh, it needs uh, input. And it needs a or whatever it's called. Uh, it's a wrought iron... Two year, I guess. Yeah, it needs this, which takes four, four iron ingots. I think I still have four iron ingots. In any case, I'll be doing more, and then, only then, we can proceed. There we go. We need to make this, and let me just see if I can make this by hand. Uh, oh, it needs double bends to work. Okay, so it's going to be tricky. Oh, there we go. Double bands. Done. So we just put this into here. And I think this will take damage, so we need to pay attention to that. 
and to actually fill this it, it needs to be from the top which means i cannot place anything there because of the sheets okay so we probably gonna want to be coming from this side yeah just like so then i'll have to put some some actual ladders here so we can get up and then we toss coal and something that can be smelted into cast iron aha i think we have it uh so it actually does need some flux with, uh, when you toss it in and boom we have input and we have output now i think we still have to yep turn it on like this uh we we have to keep giving it fuel every now and then uh there we go we can make this bigger with 12 sheets and four fire bricks uh for each layer i'm not kidding that's the actual thing and basically what's gonna happen here is we have the bellows the bellows needs to put this at brilliant white because as soon as this as is on brilliant white it can actually smelt the this side oh god it, it really chews up on the coal and i don't think it can run out of coal though <laughs> so that is bad uh but yeah we need to heat up the brilliant white and we can use the bellows which they're on to the wrong side okay there we go we have to use this so we push this all all the way oh god no the coal this is very very bad it's not even taking in oh no don't do that uh-oh uh-oh Oh, wait a second. It's it's done. We have molten pig iron. Which I believe we can just... Uh... No? Are you not like hot? Or anything? Shouldn't you be hot enough? Uh, well... Apparently you're not hot. So this is not counting. Uh, what is wrong? Why can I not cast this? Uh, maybe I can pull it out. No, I, I cannot. Uh, I do not know what's happening here. I'll, I'll, I'll try to understand it, but I don't know what's happening here. Hey, look, we have pig iron. Let's, let, let's try and do something with it. Uh, where's my hammer? Here it is. Oh, they need to be two. Oh god, I don't like this already. I don't like this already. Oh, that was easy. Oh, wait, what? But I'm... Oh. Okay. So we have two of these. We have... Oh, wait, 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 you can go again. Oh, oh, we have steel now. Oh, that was, that was kind of easy. Yeah, that was kind of easy, not gonna lie. We, we, we have steel. We can make a flint and steel. That will help us. And we could, oh, we can do a lot of things with steel. But I'll save nine to make a blast brick furnace. And you know what, guys? It's with tons of progress done today that I'm gonna have to go. Because that's all the time I have for today to make the video. But, hope you guys still enjoy the video, yeah. And, please, let me know down below in the comments anything you want me to change in my videos. Or, any tips you have. Please, please, let me know. And, see you in the next one. Bye!